Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got my Boxing Day sales haul for you. Um, I start. I did actually start it on Christmas Eve because the boot sale on the online store actually starts on Christmas Eve. So I've got some pretty good bargains that I think I'm pretty happy with. Um, so first up, I'm going to start with my big benefit bargain that I got. I actually got this off the benefit website, but I think you can, you could have, don't think you can anymore, but you could have got it off the Boots website as well. And it's one of their Christmas gifts sets that they've got, which is this beautiful tiered box here. Benefit just do the best like little gifts, like their Benefit just do the best everything in my opinion. I freaking love Benefit. And um, I got this, I think it was £23.50 I got this for, and inside. <coughs> ah. So inside is three full size products and one little travel size product. And the first one is this one here. And it is the Bad Gal Bang mascara which on its own if you go anywhere and buy this just on its own it's £21.50 and um, and bearing in mind this whole set cost me £23.50 I think it was. This one here is a full size professional I've never had a full size of them before I've always just used the travel ones it's like one of the best primers I bet it's benefit they just do the best at everything to be honest. This here is a full size high brow I have yeah, I thought I'd already got one of these in something else. I don't really use it, to be honest. I don't know why, I just haven't used it. So I now have another one. So I don't really know how much those would be to buy on their own, but you're probably looking over a tenner. I don't know. Um, this, I think you're probably looking at maybe 20 quid for the primer, somewhere maybe between 15 and 20 quid. Even maybe be a bit more, I'm not sure. And then last but not least is this little travel size and it's the Go Go tint. So that was my one ultimate bargain. Probably was my biggest bargain actually from uh, the, I think, I, I didn't tell you how much it originally was and I can't remember. I think it was 30 something maybe. Anyway, next up, Eyes Queen set. So this is what's inside. Sorry, I'm trying to get the, I didn't get the reflection of the light there. It's the Thick and Fast High Definition Mascara, the Supercat Liquid Black Eyeliner, and the Archery 2-in-1 Brow Sculpting Crayon and Setting Gel, and the Eyes and Shine Limited Edition Twist Up Eyeshadow Pen in Galactic Fantastic. So all those really, all those great like eye products there and originally 18 pound obviously the boot sale they go down a half price after christmas so i got that for nine pounds so nine pounds when you could probably only buy one of those products for about nine pound normally so uh absolute bargain with that and i'm all looking forward to using those i might do a video using a bit of soap and glory makeup next one is i've actually put them back in the bag because i've been using them but um, I love Lee Stafford hair products. And obviously recently I have dyed my hair purple. It kind of left my roots like a really awful shade of strawberry blonde. So I've been trying to um, get it to lighten up, which it has definitely lightened, they've definitely lightened up a bit. Um, and I bought these and it's the Lee Stafford's Blondes Have More Fun. And you've got the bleach blondes blue shampoo, purple shampoo, whatever you want to call it, and also the conditioner to go with it. And this was originally £14 for the set, and I got it for £7, which you're probably looking at just under a tenner just to buy one of these. Like Lee Stafford products are quite expensive. It's probably, you're looking at maybe seven or eight pounds just for a shampoo. So I've pretty much just got to buy one, get one free. So next up is the, I wasn't actually that fussed on the Little Mix products because I didn't actually think that they would be very good. I think it was just like more of a, they're just trying to make money so they're bringing out a makeup collection that's probably not going to be that good. So I didn't really think anything about their products and when the Star Gift came out it didn't really um, interest me to want to get it. But then I watched a video from my favourite YouTuber Steph Toms 
blinking it. Um, and she did, uh, she had quite a few um, of the Little Mix products given to her. Um, and she was going through and uh, using them and te well, testing them out and stuff. And um, they actually turned out to be pretty good products. So I apologize, Little Mix. Apparently your makeup is quite good. So what I got was the Iconic Eyeshadow, it was £16. So obviously got that for £8. And one of them has come a bit cracked, which I was a bit gutted about, not gonna lie. So those are the shades there. They've got some really nice shimmers in there as well. I think it's this one at the bottom here that's come and it's a bit cracked there, as you can see, but that's okay. All the other ones are all okay. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to using that. Next up was because I am trying to build my brush collection up a lot, I went and bought the Little Mix brush set. Uh, mainly because of this brush here. It's a highlighter brush and I've been dying to get one that is like that size because the one that I currently use is that one there and it's just it's just quite a bit bigger. I've got this and you've got your five brushes in it. You've got your eyeshadow brush. I should do it right. Yeah, eyeshadow brush there, you've got your powder brush, another, it's an eyeshadow smudge brush, that one there, your highlighter, and then you've got a blender, an eyeshadow blender brush there. Sorry, I don't know if that was all in shot then. I'm trying to not get the reflection, the light wants to reflect off everything at the moment, my ring light. So, um, as you can see. This is the one that uh, was top of my list of things that I actually wanted to buy in the, in the boot sale and it is the Little Mix shout out to my pout matte lip and liner collection. Look, those shades are beautiful. Like, I cannot wait to play with them. But um, this was originally £18 so obviously I got it for 9 But those shades there, they're just perfect everyday shades and I've been wanting to get more of those, like more of a neutral color. And I didn't actually, when I saw these, I didn't actually realize that they were matte until I watched the Steph Toms video and she said um, about them being matte and I knew I had to get the kit then. So yes, I got that and I was absolutely stoked. Oh, uh, another um, little mixed product that I got, this was actually when I went into town. I think most of those, except for the Lee Steph ones, were the things that I got um, on Christmas Eve. And then the Lee Staffel one was part of this haul that I got. And this was actually when I went into town and went to uh, Boots there. Um, and I got this. I don't think like, sometimes it's easier to go out and buy things obviously when you can see them um, with your own eyes. So you can actually see how nice the shades are with makeup. So this didn't interest me online at all. And then I saw it and I was in, the shop and I thought why the hell not it was £10 originally so I got it for a fiver so you've got the face gems here for your eyes beautiful colours and then you've got the glitter eyeliner there that pink shade there and then you've got the duo the eyeshadow duo just there so I can't wait to start using those so I think I've definitely got a lot of products there to be able to do um, uh, one brand like makeup tutorial obviously I haven't got the foundation and everything I got these um, there it's a fairy shimmer by Umberto Giannini however you say that <laughs> Giannini I think it is Umberto Giannini <sighs> I don't know um, anyway <laughs> it's the glitter and sparkle like a fairy and um, they're just like these sparkles that you can put in your hair and the reason I got them, they were uh, £8.50, so I got them for £4.25. I thought, why the hell not? Who wants... Um, everybody always wants a bit of glitter in their hair. Although I did buy them for um, Boxing Night Out and then forgot to use them. I don't think I even read really what they were. I just got a bit excited because I saw glitter and fairy. Pastel pink, blue shimmer and iridescent glitter colour hairsprays. Oh, there we go. Huh. Yeah, I cannot wait to use those so to see what they come out like. But yeah, anyway, I got those beauts there. And uh, next up from Masked, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I think I have got one of their, yeah, I've got one of their brushes here. It's a blusher brush. Obviously, as you can see, I haven't used it. But they are also a very good uh, makeup brush brand. 
They had quite a few of those stuff on offer and building up my brush collection, I thought why not? So I got the masked eye and brow tools and it was £12.50 so obviously down to £6.25. So that is them there. They're really nice, you can see that there. So I'm quite excited to use those. I also got um, two of the makeup blender sponges, like the sponge set of theirs as well, because I also need to build up my sponge collection a bit more, as I seem to have lost all mine at the moment and I don't know what I've done with them. But this was originally five pounds, I got it for two pound 50, so you can't really go wrong with that. Um, okay, I think, yeah, that was all I got from Boots. Any um, things that I was gutted that I never actually got was actually the Spectrum collection sets. Um, the, I missed out on those, I couldn't get them anywhere and I was gutted about it because that was like the main things that I wanted, but it's okay, I don't mind. Um, I did also go into H&M and I got these great like um, workout pants um, for the gym. Uh, these were originally $17.99 and I got them for a tenner. So, um, and then last up, let's move that bag out of the way. Uh, last up, I headed over to TK Maxx, obviously, because when there's a sale on, um, that's one place I cannot miss. And I got some more lashes, but these ones are actually by Eyelure, and they're at the Enchanted Divine Crime. So I'm not sure how much they are originally, but I want to say they're between like four and five pounds, something like that. But I got them for two pound twenty. But they look really nice. They look like just some nice little subtle um, lashes. My absolute bargain of the day, and I'm absolutely stoked with them to the point I don't even know if I want to use it because it's so pretty. But this is the final product anyway, and this is the Real Techniques Brush Crush, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a limited edition one as well. Oh yeah, yeah, limited edition one. So it's got the purpley pink handle on it there, and you can see, can you see the brush there? And this was originally $12.99 and I got it for $4.99. So I was so chuffed with that there. And you can't really see it. Oh guys, it's beautiful. Look at that. Sorry, it's got the plastic thing on it there, but look at the sparkle. Oh my God, it's so nice. It feels so nice as well. Um, I do love Real Techniques brushes, but some of the brushes that I have of theirs that I do find are just that little bit too harsh on my eye. Um, I've got quite sensitive eyes, but I'm not sure whether or not that's because um, they're a bit older, the brushes. So um, I can sometimes be a bit um, weary on real techniques, real techniques, but um, this one does not feel rough whatsoever. Beautiful. So that was my video today for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button just down below. And any questions that you want to ask, then please comment just in the section down below as well. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Every subscriber really does help. Head over to my Instagram, which is holly, and that's with an IE dot rutter, and my Twitter account, which is holly underscore makeup. And until next time, guys, I'm probably not going to do another video now before New Year. So, Happy New Year. I hope you all get drunk and merry and have the time of your lives. And I'll see you in the New Year. Here's to 2019. Take care.